so today I thought I would just do a little talk through, get ready with me, um, cause I'm gonna film my July favorites after this. Um, yeah, so let's get this looking a little better. Um, I've already applied Scandinavia Makeup Primer Oil Control Spray. Um, I'm giving my skin a little break from the Milk of Magnesia because it's just not working as well as it did at first. So when I really needed to, I want it to work, you know, so. Um, because like when I first used it, it was like a complete miracle worker. But I found after using it for a long time, I've been needing like just as many oil blotting sheets as I needed before I started using it. So yeah. Um, and then I also used my Prestige Primed and Ready Eye Primer. And then I'm going to... Let's see, what do we want to use today? I'm going to use my Miracle Skin Transformer. Let's take a little bit of that. Now I use the primer spray, but I still like to use something else to really smooth everything out. I'm going to take my Sigma F64 Soft Blend Concealer Brush and use a little bit of my It Cosmetics Bye Bye Redness. I've been loving this stuff to just obviously cover redness so I don't need as much foundation or concealer. are feeling kind of dry because I did a uh, mask last night I mean uh, with Indian healing clay and apple cider vinegar so I mean obviously I don't put it like right under my eyes but like the tiny like right here at the edge of where the mask was feels a little bit dry so I'm gonna use my MAC prep and prime vibrancy eye primer love how this feels. Okay, then to prime my eyes, I'm going to use obviously my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I really need to get another tube of this soon. And I use NW20. This is a lot of steps to like just get started but I mean if you have redness to cover and super oily skin the best way to go is in like very thin layers so it doesn't get cakey and if I don't do all this my makeup will not last so that's how it goes then to set my primer and the concealer on my eyes, use my Cover FX loose powder. Jumbo Eye Pencil and Milk and just put a little bit of that in the inner corner and on the lid. Love this. I use it like every single day. It really helps brighten and bring out the shadow. I 
And then I just blend that. Don't want it to be thick because then it'll crease more easily. All right, let's see. I'm gonna use a little of um, my MAC shaping powder and emphasize to set that and help brighten as well. And then I'm gonna take Makeup Geek Vanilla Bean just with my middle finger and put that all over the lid and up to the brow bone. Keeping it simple with God-given tools. And then with my Sedona Lace EB13, which is a big fluffy blending brush, I'm going to take um, Peach Smoothie right here. And just blend that. It's going to be kind of our transition color. This is what I've been doing literally almost every day. I just can't get enough of these colors. It just goes with everything. And they're perfect for summer. Okay, next we're taking the Sigma E35 with creme brulee right here. And we're just gonna blend that into the grease. This is a perfect, simple combo. Love it. Alright, then just gonna blend up there. So next I'm taking my Sedona Lace 904 pencil brush. Taking a little bit of cocoa bear. And if you wanted to deepen up this look, you could easily put a little bit of cocoa bear in the outer crease or outer corner. <clears throat> then we're going to take our Physicians Formula Lash Boosting Liquid Liner in Deep Brown. All time favorite liner. I have to get really close to the mirror. That's just me. So I've got my eyeliner too thick on the inner corner. Whoopsies! Alright, then I'm taking my Jane Water Resistant Eyeliner in Brown for the bottom. Alright, so we're going to curl our lashes.
All right, and then we're gonna take our mascara. And if you're wondering why this looks weird, um, I was watching somebody, I don't remember who, but they said, they were talking about how the L'Oreal wands for a couple of their mascaras are interchangeable. So I took my wand from my Luminous Butterfly Mascara and put it on the Miss Manga Mascara so that I could use up the Miss Manga Mascara since I wasn't liking the wand. And it works great. I love it. It's like the perfect combo. So you might want to try that if you have um, like a wand that you prefer. Alright, then for foundation, we are going to take um, how about we do Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation in light medium, so I'm still trying to use this up. And of course, with the Beauty Blender, I really need to get some more Beauty Blenders soon. Um, but I'm gonna order from Makeup Geek this time instead of Sephora because they have them cheaper. I always get a set of two because it's much better than just buying one. I have no idea why anybody just buys one because it's so much better of a price. Even from the four, it's like twenty dollars for one or thirty for two. And like if you use it all the time you're gonna need to replace it, so might as well. And then sorry I'm like sniffly. Ugh. And then Makeup Geek has them for two for $23.99. And shipping is only like $2. So, can't beat that. And if you find this foundation doesn't seem to work for you with other methods, you might want to try Beauty Blender because. I kind of had trouble with it until I started using my beauty blender. I guess for some reason because of thicker texture, like I wasn't sure if it would work, but it's awesome. those lines on my forehead. I need some kind of like really good anti-aging something. Um, Alright. I just love how well this foundation covers. And of course the fact that it has better ingredients. So that's the only thing that really kind of makes it better to me than CoverGirl Outlast. They wear pretty similarly. CoverGirl Outlast might actually last um, a tiny bit better, but the better ingredients makes the tart worth it for me. Got mascara on my lid. All right, then we're gonna take. Actually, let's go with my It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye because my MAC Pro Longwear is getting really low. I don't want to use it up. I'm 
just not a huge fan of this concealer because it feels so sticky. And you really have to set it like really, really well. Okay. Ugh, stuffy. Then be the blender again. take a MAC CC Prep and Prime powder and adjust. And I love the translucent one as well. I'll probably just get that one again next time. But I feel like this just smooths over my pores really well and sets everything better than anything I've tried. I'm gonna go back in with my um, MAC shaping powder in Emphasize to brighten under here, but because I have such large pores um, and an oily skin, it just doesn't really work for me by itself like Jaclyn Hill does. But I really do love that powder too. So I'm just going to set that and then bring it down here since I get super oily. Ugh, my eyes are getting watery. Ugh. I feel like I'm in a tunnel. My ears are like doing that popping thing. Fun. All right, then I'm taking a little bit of my Cover FX powder foundation, just to cover any little redness that's peeking through. Because I always do such a light amount of foundation on my. And of course, I'm throwing my brush around. Okay. Taking my do do do. You know what I need to use? Because I haven't used it in a while. My It Cosmetics CC Radiance Palette. I've been so obsessed with this amazing cosmetics pink chocolate blush. Taking the bronzer. Oh, well, this is my Sedona Lace 813.
then my neck is super white. I need to really, I need to redo my self tanner tonight. I'm gonna take a bunch of my Maybelline Dream Matte Bronzer with this big Real Techniques powder brush. I feel like this bronzer is the bronzer that never ends. Cause I've used it so much, but it still even has like the original kind of lines in it. So it's going strong. All right. Then I'm gonna take. Then I'm taking my Sedona Lace Ingold Contour Brush with that blush in the CC Radiance palette. Uh, I think it's not blending very well. You know what? I changed my mind. I just have to wear pink chocolate. I just have to. I'm doing my favorites today, and this is definitely a favorite, so. Ugh. It's gonna end up looking wacky. I don't know what I'm doing today. Well, there you have it. So I'm using that MAC Emphasize powder. zone to brighten. Okay. So lastly, I'm going to do a little mascara on the bottom lashes. And brows with my It Cosmetics Brow Power Universal Brow Pencil. a little bit of my MAC transparent press powder. Where I get super oily. Now we're gonna set with Scandinavia No More Shine makeup finishing spray. right there. You can take a little bit of powder foundation. Okay, now we're all set. Hey guys, so this is the completed look. Um, I did just put on my MAC Viva Glam 5. Yes, Viva Glam 5. Um, just kind of go with everything kind of 
lipstick. I've been wearing it quite a bit lately. This has been just kind of my go-to foundation routine for summer. Um, it just lasts really well whether I use the Tarte like I did today or if my CoverGirl Outlast. Um, so yeah, um, that's what I've been loving lately. So I hope this was helpful and if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys!